Hey, it's Tay. Uh, welcome back from break. This is the makeup for Mrs. Peacock for Clue the Musical. So before I started this video, and first I'd like to say, uh, I'm sorry if there's any noise or anything like that. I have two cats and I live with my significant other, so it's pretty hectic in here a lot of the time. Um, but before I started this video, I went ahead and moisturized and I put on a light layer of Vaseline to kind of block my pores from the heavy stage makeup and it's a lot easier to remove since all of my makeup is coming off after this video anyway. Um, you may want to go ahead and do that. Either way, your skin needs to be kind of tacky before you start so that the makeup will blend better on your face. All right, and I also went ahead and put on my basic corrective makeup. I used the middle shade from my foundation and um, my shadow, my highlight, and blush. All of that is gonna be based on your face shape and the way that you do your makeup. And I did fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. Um, for Miss Peacock, if you have lighter eyebrows, I'm gonna ask that you go ahead and draw on your eyebrows a little thinner. Um, don't make them big and blocky because she's older, like in her 40s. So um, her eyebrows will have thinned out a little bit. Um, take a look at like your mom, um, if she's kind of closer to that age and see what her face looks like and try to kind of replicate that because that's most likely how you're going to age as well. Now for this makeup, we are doing a little bit of aging makeup. So we're going to go back to our shadow and highlight. Um, I use the smaller, a smaller brush for my shadow. Um, and sorry i'm like just jumping into this so i use a smaller brush for my shadow you want to get a little bit on the brush and kind of you know spread it out uh edge the brush so it's really straight and flat and fine and then the only age makeup we're going to be doing is some crow's feet and smile lines so what you're going to do for your crow's feet you're going to scrunch up your face real tight and see where those crow's feet are and just make little lines in there so that you can tell they kind of look like you smiled a lot in your life and then I take my finger and just kind of tap them out which is not the official way you're supposed to do it but it works best for me uh, for the stage you're gonna want them to be just a little dark not not super dark we won't we don't want to look like somebody took a sharpie to our face and just went at it but like dark enough that you'll be able to tell that they're there from the stage so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye just scrunch them up real tight and get that line in there and technically technically you're supposed to uh, put a little bit of highlight, but mine are so close together that I don't usually do that. Um, it just makes it look a little more realistic if you put some highlight on there. Uh, but you don't have to. So, going back in there and mine kind of go under my eyes as well but you don't have to do that. It's based on your face and how your face moves. Cool, again, take a look at your mom or your grandma and see where their wrinkles are at. And... Or you could just freehand and draw someone. It doesn't matter. So then we're gonna smile real big so we get these lines in our cheeks right there. And we're just gonna trace a little bit, not all the way, about halfway, to get those kind of wrinkly smile lines. And again, you wanna tap them out, maybe get uh, the sponge you used for your foundation and just kind of tap over them so they're not super dark and it doesn't look like you have a mustache, but you got some nice little smile wrinkles. Alright, so I need to go back over this one. Took it out a little too much. 
And on these, we are gonna take a little bit of highlight, just a little bit. Um, um, another brush and again make it all flat and sharp and go right on top of those lines real thin uh, and make a little bit of a highlight on top of those lines and take a sponge and tap that out blend it into your face And this is how you'll do the highlight on your eye, eye wrinkles if you want to do highlight on those. Cool. So then I'm going to go back in with my blush just a little bit because since we covered it up a little bit. <laughs> and just fix that. And there you go. There's the H makeup for Mrs. Peacock. So I don't look that much older. But you're not supposed to look that much older. She's an older lady, but she's not like decrepit, you know? So, um, <clears throat> everything I've used on my face so far has been from the Ben Nye palette, except for my eyebrow pencil and my mascara that I already have on. Um, if you do not have a Ben Nye palette, let me know and we'll figure out some makeup for you. You can get, I think I already said this, but you can get drugstore makeup. It just has to be full coverage so that um, you don't look like a ghost on stage. <clears throat> so the other makeup that I'm gonna use, I am gonna use my Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. Um, it's part of the Dream Big collection, I think. But you can use any blue eyeshadow it just has to be really like bright so I'm gonna use the starry eyed color and probably a little bit of fine china and I'm just gonna take that on a big fluffy brush blow off the excess and just pack that into the outer corner of my eye and bring it up towards my eyebrow a little bit we want a nice little rounded shape on the outside of your eye, right? Like a little flower petal. Again, with that same color, we're just gonna take it on the outside and then we're gonna take it on the inside as well. Um, you wanna leave a little bit of space in the middle or not. No, we're just gonna cover the whole eyelid. Um, cover the whole eyelid with that light blue color it needs to be a brighter blue but it is a light blue right so it's not dark royal blue it's like really bright baby blue so we're going to do the same thing on this side and don't worry about your wrinkles just kind of pack it over top because that's how you would do if you had wrinkles right so i'm just going to pack it all over that eyelid and it helps if you put a little bit of foundation on your eyelids before you do this or an eye primer. I have a MAC Painterly pot that I like to use when I do my eyeshadow. <clears throat> I just didn't use it for this so that we could have the same makeup. Right, I'm not done with this. So after we've covered our whole eye with that bright blue, I'm gonna take a little bit of that darker blue just a bit. I'm gonna tap it off onto my wrist. So we're tapping into the pot, blowing it off, and then I'm gonna tap it on my wrist. And we're gonna go back in the outer corner just to give it a little bit of dimension. Right? So it's not super noticeable, it's just enough that it takes it from being a flat eyeshadow to an actual eye look. Cool? Cool. Again, blowing it, tapping it off to get all that excess off and then just tapping it into that outer corner. I'm not swiping, I'm not doing circles, I'm just pressing it in. And there we go. 
Um, if you wanted to, this palette has like a color called Tide Pool that's kind of shimmery. Um, if you like having shimmer on your eyes, you can go ahead and swipe a little bit of that on. Um, just a little bit of a shimmer. But you want it to be the same color. Like, I don't want to have a gold shimmer on a blue eye. That's just not what we want for this character, right? So, now that that's done, that's the eyes. Um, I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is my personal eyeliner. The kit has black the Ben Nye kit has a black cream makeup and a small liner brush. I'm just not very good at using a liner brush, so I prefer not to do that. But you can totally use that if you want to. Um, my eyeliner has a felt tip that's really pointed, so I like to use it for my eyeliner. Because <clears throat> I feel like I can get a lot more control. But if you don't have something like that, again, that's fine. Um, and we're not going to do a wing for this character. You just want to line the eyes so that your eyelashes look a little thicker, right? So we're gonna do a bit of a thick line just right on your lash line. If you've ever seen how like, have you seen those older women that do their makeup like this and they have just like one color and then the, the eyeliner that is just straight across that's kind of how we want to do and if this is how you do your makeup it doesn't mean you're like an old lady it's just an older look cool so that's the eyes i do already have mascara on but you'll go ahead and put some mascara on and then you'll be done with your eyelashes you can use um false lashes just don't make them super big um if you're gonna use false lashes, stick to more of a natural uh, size. Just make them a little bigger so that they can be seen from the stage. So, for your lips, I'm gonna take this Ben Nye um, cream contour wheel and I'm gonna take my lighter shade. I don't know if you can see it, it's this like rose color. Um, if you are not the same Ben Nye shade as I am, I'm a TK1, but if you're not the same, your colors might be different. So that's fine. You're just gonna take like a rose colored, almost a nude pink lipstick, and we're gonna do our lips with that. So for the lips, because we're an older character, uh, I already kind of have some foundation on top of my lips, right, to kind of block them out and white them out. Um, and I have a bit of shadow under my lips. But I'm going to take my shadow color and I am going to put some on my actual lip so that it looks like I'm making my lips smaller right? So I'm bringing it onto my lip and my lips are super chapped because I'm sick, but uh, bring it onto my actual lip so that it looks like my lips are a little smaller. Take my foundation color and tap it over the top so it's not as harsh. And now I have a smaller lip space to work with. So I'm going to take this is an old paintbrush, but I use it as a makeup brush. I'm gonna take my makeup brush and dip it into that cream. If you have like an actual lipstick too, that's cool too. Um, and I am not going to cover my whole lip because we're making it a little smaller, right? As you get older, your lips get a little thinner, they get a little smaller and that's okay. Um, so I'm just taking that rose and putting it all over the lip that we just created. And I'm actually going to take just a little bit of red, like just tap it in there, uh, and put it in because this rose color is not standing out as much as I want it to. There we go. 
There we go. It adds just a little more pink so that it's a little more visible. And then I'm gonna take my top lip and fill that in, make a nice little rounded cupid's bow. just a little more red because you don't want your lips to look flat right so you can kind of see the color I have on but it's not super noticeable that I have color on my lips uh, so I'm taking a little bit of red just to darken it brighten it up so that you can see from the stage and also the light I have really washes my face out. So, um, but yeah, this is kind of the end result you want. A pinky nude lip and that blue on your eyes and that's about it for you. Um, if you have any questions about the aging, you can go ahead and send me a message, uh, an email, a text, whatever. Or if you have any questions about products or techniques, if you have something you don't want to do on your face, let me know. Um, I'm always here for questions, concerns. And if you don't have any of this makeup, let me know and we can work something out because there is a bit of a budget. I can order makeup for you. Um, but I will encourage you to look at drugstores first because a lot of the times you can find palettes with like this blue color for like 50 cents to a dollar. It just depends. Cool. Cool. So I think that's it for Miss Peacock. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you when I see you. Bye.